Uh, I haven't planned anything. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to yeah. wing it. Whiskey Wolf, right? Uh, as always. So, we're here with Charlie Leary. Mm -hmm. we're, this is the start of a new venture for the Crossface uh, team and training centre and what we do here, uh, here in Watford. So, my, my plan with this was to literally sit some guys on the couch, have a conversation and try and get an insight into the type of people that train here at the gym and the longevity of your training and all this. If so you want to get undressed, pretty, you can get undressed. Here, yeah, have to. Um, just to give people an insight in what, why and how you do things, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we've got Charlie Leary with us today, probably one of the, if not the, or one of the oldest students I have. Um, Long, longest, longest serving students. Longest not, not serving. Oldest. I'm pretty old, but I'm not the oldest here. Yeah. No, I'm not the oldest. <laughs> like long in service. Yeah. I'm the old. No, yeah. no. There's a few older. But yeah. longest serving. You've been with us now. I mean, he was here with me from the creation of the team. Mm. So, uh, and pretty much, I would say, probably one of the most successful members of the team in regards of fight career standard of fights traveling of you know global fights hasn't just fought domestically you fought internationally yeah. so let's start off with why did you start training in the mma and what brought you to to us yeah. in the first place because we started off back in a scout hall it was a scout hall when when we first started and and thank the lord yeah. whichever lord you like <laughs> That it's been pulled down now. We, yes. Does that smell a bit in there? Then? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It, you know what? I, I'd I'd loved MMA for a long time. I, I always played football. Um, played quite a high level of football, semi-pro. Um, big shout out to Wildstone. Um, so uh, Wildstone, yeah, is that, yeah. Is that a football chant. Uh, Wildstone, yeah. <laughs> home of the Wildstone Raider. But um, yeah, Who? so. Uh, you you got to know the Wildstone oh, Raider. I'll give it you. Yeah, yeah. Back, no that, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That team. That's who I played for. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So Them you amongst that guy. Yeah, yeah, man. He was, he he was, was the there mascot all the time. <laughs> the mascot. Oh, um, I've seen that video. I'll give yeah, it you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give it you. Um, <laughs> but my brother always boxed. My brother, from a young age, he always boxed. Um, so I was always into combat sport. Um, then he brought home uh, a VHS of UFC 1 or 2 I think it was um, we sat down and watched it and I was in love with it from there um, and I was starting to fall out of love with football it's, it, it, it annoyed me getting a little bit like less physical and people falling over all the time pretending they're hurt when they're actually not so I was looking at training for a long time um, and the only place I could find were in London um, obviously London shoot was the, the main one people said but it was about three different trains away from me and stuff like that um, so I was working in gyms at the time um, and I had um, an old school affliction, uh, Randy Couture affliction t-shirt and um, I was in the gym with that on and someone was like, oh, you should go and train. I said, oh, yeah, I'd love to. And they went, oh, yeah, go go to the Scout Hut in South Oxy. Um, David Lee trains down there and I was, I'd seen you fight on the UFC. Um, so I was very sceptical that you was actually down there <laughs> training in a Scout Hut. Um, so well, well, before that, bro, I was in a, in a, in a, in a, <laughs> in a chicken shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I technically wasn't. I trained there. Yeah. yeah. But technically wasn't my. I wasn't teaching there. No, that wasn't that yours, much. Yeah. I was teaching out of my shed, like a workshop, wooden workshop in the back of my. I've uh, trained there with you. Back yeah, of my garden. Yeah. Yeah. Then we progressed. I'll tell you what, that was. <laughs> progressed to the scout. I'll tell you what, that was probably cleaner than the scout hut. It was cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was very, very skeptical. I was expecting to come down and there'd, there'd be a poster of you on the wall. And someone that had met you once and shook your hand or something, and then was just using your name to train. Um, so I was quite quite surprised when I turned up there and uh, he was actually there teaching, and uh, really impressed with the guy straight away. Um, I see the techniques you was teaching. You obviously knew what he was doing, um, and I haven't looked back since. As soon as I as soon as I see that, I come down to watch the first class. I remember coming down, and you go, oh, come and join in. I was in my jeans. I was like, no, nah, let me just watch and make sure it's all right, and. Uh, that was it. I, th I remember um, seeing Luke, young Luke Dalmido and uh, Deniston down there. And uh, man, you could tell straight away that it was it was somewhere that you're going to learn, you're, you're going to improve. So have a look back. Cool. So, well, back then it was like, I didn't start teaching because people would ask me, oh, because, you know, back in those days, it was like you didn't have anywhere really 
Well, there wasn't, well, there wasn't, there was maybe one or two places you could go to Monday through to Friday. Yeah, this was my problem, trying to find right? somewhere. Yeah. So, you know, we had the scout hall maybe on a Wednesday and a Friday. Yeah, yeah. I taught in Slough, remember, like, yeah. Mondays. When, when I started, it was Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Just Wednesdays. Just Wednesdays. When I started, it was we did Wednesdays. We right? Pads, gi. Pad, yeah, you start. Oh, no, we didn't no, do no, we gi. Didn't do gi. We started, you do the pads to start with. Pads, yeah, Then yeah. you do the technique. Then you do your sparring at the end right. and stuff like that. Everything on a Wednesday, oh, Wednesday every, night. We do it. We also the training one put night. the mats down and pick the mats up. And oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I mean, and really, I only went to South Foxy mm. because when I was in, when I was in my house, like my parents' house, teaching out the workshop, I only got that because I was pushed, not pushed, but sort of fell into that way because of yeah. doing the personal training. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was easier just to do it for myself than work somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did work at a few places, but I'm quite unemployable. <laughs> but um, uh, really, the only reason we got the scow mm. hall, because I started, remember I did in the ledger centre in Watford, I did like a kickboxing class. Oh, really? See, no, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. was before that my time. That lasted a few, like a month or two. yeah. yeah. Because it was just kickboxing, striking, because they didn't have any mats or anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't have any mats like, to, to, to put in a yeah, hole. And I didn't... To be fair, I felt a bit bogus teaching a kickboxing class. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. what I wanted to teach was everything. Of course, yeah. And then it was only because my sister living around the corner in South Foxy, yeah, yeah. Um, that she she got the contact for the scout hall. And then that was it. We, yeah. I don't know, we was there. I was there long time yeah yeah, yeah we four, maybe maybe four years yeah, something like that, i think something like, something like that and we've just yeah, progressed think, more I mats there, i think i was there three years like that, i think yeah and then it mm. and really the only reason we moved into a full-time place because we had like we started off on the wednesday right yeah then we went friday friday as well yeah then we had somewhere else on the saturday we had the slough on a saturday and a monday wouldn't then, it yeah. yeah so we, we was all over yeah. the place then we had like obviously zay and slough and mill and Keynes, we would sort yeah, of yeah. trickle out to on a Tuesday or whatever, yeah, yeah. train jitsu or something else. Yeah. But everyone was getting serious, you know, yeah. like you was getting serious. Yeah. I was still fighting. Yeah. So everyone Max, was getting Max was fighting. Yeah, bubbling. Um, yeah, you know, we had Max fighting yeah. for titles, you yeah. fighting for titles. Yeah. So it was like we need somewhere. And really, it wasn't my idea. No. It was like one of the students here, Sunil, one of yeah. our longest I get one I of the I think he's probably, he's probably the longest, the yeah, longest the serving. Longest, yeah. That's not yeah. uh yeah, the longest. Mm. But he, Dave, you gotta, you gotta open up somewhere full time, Dave, because we was running the it. shows in the yeah, Coliseum, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta open somewhere full time. So it was only that. that all right, let's do that then. It's crazy to think that we, you actually started the show at from the Coliseum. The well, from I the got pushed into that. Yes, you did. <laughs> That's another yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, another That's for another story. time. Again, but. I fell into most of it. Yeah. Things. And it, for me, yeah. it's never a business idea. No, no. Never a business plan. It's just, it's just the way. It's almost like it just all fell yeah yeah yeah. it's like all fell into place yeah well some of it fell out of place and some of it fell into place i mean don't get me wrong i think going full-time was was great for the team and great for everyone but i mean that was hard work dude it was very hard work i mean that was hard work for for you and for for like financially and stuff like that was hard it was a burden it wasn't a burden it was tough because don't forget it was before it was just like oh yeah yeah here and there, blah, blah, pay this yeah, guy, yeah, pay that yeah. guy, I'll pay the rent. It good. was cheap. Yeah. The scout hall and everything like this. Mm. But in order, f- I mean, we could still be doing that now. And yeah, every, yeah. every yeah. back in those days, yeah. martial art, that's how you did it. Yeah. You treat it out of a hall. Yeah. It wasn't. And, and people would pay people you per like, lesson. Like us took the leap yeah, yeah. and did the full time places that other places come about. Yeah. And the recognition for the sport yeah. seriously become I, a I bit think, more like not arrivable. To be fair, though, I think um, being that bit of a struggle there um, helped us progress into to coming here to a bigger oh, place and sure. stuff like that. Because I if think it, I think if it's in a better venue and there was actually people coming through the door every time and it weren't in that industrial estate hidden oh away around God. the corner where you had to, survive. you weren't getting yeah, survive. and surviving, then we probably, oh, no, we're all right here, don't worry. And we wouldn't have got the bigger place. We wouldn't have got into such a good but good gym where we're at now yeah we didn't i mean you know and i think most of the time as well in i know in business mm. all the research i've done there's always like a 10 year yeah like period of where you gotta 
put the effort yeah, in, sacrifice, and then maybe yeah. ten years time you get like a, the fruit. Yeah, yeah. So, and I'm not saying that we've reached the pinnacle of what we need to do, and, and I will always try to push things forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we are in a good spot now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's the reason. Again, Plus, the reason why I came here yeah. is we was approached to come yeah. here, but also I knew it made sense for the team. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then time, financial, yeah. I've never been about the pound coin. No. I've always been. A, been about the passion yes yeah, yeah so for me this when i walked into this gym i was like wow this this could be because it was empty right but yeah it was crazy. this could be something crazy. cool yeah, man yeah. you know we could get a, instead of having a gym we can yeah. have a, a, a facility uh, and that's all you know such now a big the difference. ring cage such mat, a big difference yeah yeah you know whatever next mm. maybe some who knows yeah, you know yeah, yeah. but um, you know the team Needed it. Yes. Yeah. And here we are. And I think it's helped. It's, it's obviously helped the team. We've got so many, so many up and comers now. Exactly, and there's, yeah. there's people that yeah we can focus on where. My question to you though, yeah. through those times, like you you've seen like the scout hall, yeah. the, the little gym we had in Harrow, yeah. and now we're here. What's kept you here? What's kept you training? Because how long have you been training now? Like oh, man, it's over ten years now. It's over it's ten years. Be. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be yeah. over ten because yeah, yeah, yeah. we always yeah. have this conversation. We don't really know when we named the team. No. We've got a rough idea of the year. Yeah. I yeah. remember the time. I remember the moment we yeah, named yeah, it. I, I yeah, remember I the remember class remember. Yeah, yeah. when I was teaching a technique. And yeah. We said, oh, let's just name the team, yeah. Team Crossface. Because I didn't want it to be like David, Team David, David Lee. David it wasn't Lee just MMA, me. Which is where it started, wasn't right? it? Right? Yeah. It wasn't just me. Yeah. So I remember the class, but yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I, don't, not, I don't remember the time. I'm not. Like Rain Man, I won't remember the, <laughs> the time and date. You know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's got to be over 10 years you've been training now. Yeah, 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 at least, at least. I mean, I think uh, in the beginning, um, the thing that kept me coming back was the progression that I felt like I was making straight away. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was learning and I, it wasn't a repetitive going and, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I've, I've got this ice. Yeah, but it's the same stuff. Oh, I don't get the other stuff. The, the way the teaching and everyone was so welcoming, do you know what I mean? Um, made me keep going back and want to learn more. I felt like I was getting better. I was getting fitter, I was getting healthier and, and I was progressing. My, my, my whole game was getting better the whole time. Um, then I think that when you say about like, oh yeah, it normally takes about 10 years to, for fruit to come out or something. I think it's probably the same with my career, really. Well, I you, mean, well, yes or no, but you you had a rough ride, man. I mean, there's one point. I mean, I've never known a guy to have so many nicknames. Uh, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I've never known. A, I mean, I've had some pullouts and fights before, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've had maybe one or two where yeah. I've had a few people pull out yeah. and then step in these. But you've even got to the point. I mean, I don't. Know what, I forget what show it was, yeah. but you had a hand wrapped, one yeah. hand wrapped. Yeah, yeah. And they called a fight off. Yeah. Yeah, hand wrap. Yeah, and the guy one never hand wrap, right? Yeah, one hand wrap. Then and I had a show. Then I had a show. You, I mean, it wasn't your hairline or your complexion <laughs> yeah. that gave you the uh, the nickname <laughs> Casper. Casper. Yeah, no. right. Because you weren't a friendly ghost, man. People didn't want to fight People you. People were scared, man. They were scared. They were scared. I'd, yeah, I. I don't know if they were scared or they just had car trouble <laughs> yeah. get into the fight. I mean, yeah, yeah, I can't remember. I mean, you I, had a lot of like, and you lost a bunch of fights on the truck. This was the trouble. You know what? You know? I'm. I'm I made some silly mistakes and I took some stupid fights and but at the time yeah but back then to your defense man back yeah, then it yeah. wasn't you didn't have the, the you know, this twitter I, I thing yeah, yeah, yeah. this instagram thing yeah, facebook yeah. It, it was it was it was new the, so people didn't know what it was no no and, and the, everyone wasn't building their career you just took fights yeah you and the thing was I, I wanted to fight and i had so many pullouts that then when someone oh well this guy wants to fight i, I mean i thought what's his name um diago fatal i'd um I just lost two on a trot or something like that. We got him last minute, right? And yeah, and and at the time he was like nine nine and one or something like that. And mm -hmm. I just lost two on a trot, and I think I was two and two. Um, but I was willing to take these fights. So afterwards, I remember him and his coaches thinking, "Oh, thank you so much. No one will fight him. Thanks for taking yeah. that fight." But I wanted to fight. I was training. And I, I was feeling like I should. Well, fought. that's what now, I mean. So we had that, didn't we? We just thought, right? You know what? We yeah. want to test our skill. This was it. Like yeah, yeah. in the gym, we yeah. test our skill by yeah. training and sparring and, yeah, yeah. and doing yeah. all that kind of thing, and then obviously to test it more. Yeah. You fight, uh, yeah. And I if think you're struggling to get fights, uh, yeah. Then when it comes around, you have to take what you you can get. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it could have been. I could have once. I'd, I think it, probably that fight when it really hit home. I was like, man, I, I've got a choice. I I either give up now or I knuckle down and 
start putting a little bit more effort in and actually make this into something, into a career. Do you know what I mean? I think that's why I stuck around. I had, it was, it was almost 50-50, man, because I'm sitting there, I just lost, I think I'd lost three on the trot. I'd then gone into a negative record. Um, and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm, I'm working nights. Oh shit, what, what do I do? Do I push forward and actually go, okay, no, I'm, I'm going to keep these nights at work and train harder during the day and, and put the effort in and, and progress? Or do I go, yeah, okay, it's not for me. I'll try and find a, a, a decent job that pays well and, and yeah, not, not a shitty job that I was doing. Um, well, and do, this as, and do this as a hobby. You're the whole reason the daytime, the daytime class is starting, yeah. started, <laughs> right? Because right, you couldn't make the yeah, yeah. or you can make like six well, o'clock, maybe. I started, no, this was it. I started training, the daytimes was, um, which actually was probably one of my biggest like leaps in um, skill level, was when I'd come down and got invited to come and spar with you and Max and Char and stuff in Slough, daytime. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah, come down. Obviously, I got my ass kicked because I was the new guy and you lot were all pro fighters at the time. But that then made me think, oh, hang on, if I can train daytimes and get an evening session in as well, then yeah, sweet. So I'd, I'd be able to get the daytime sessions in. Um, I'd get, a, it was a lack of sleep, but then I'd get one in the evening before going to work and stuff like that, um, which was hard. It was, there was a lot of sacrifices, but it, that was the choice. I had the choice to either quit and call it a hobby and just train when I wanted and enjoy it, or try and make a career out of it and, and try and see how far I could push. And, and I mean, well, I it remember you in Harrow, hours. man. I'd, yeah. I'd rock up in the gym in the morning. Yeah. You'd be asleep, and on, the asleep couch. on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep on the couch. Yeah, finish, fresh finish from work, straight from work. An hour. To, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, dude, how do you do that? Man, it was tough. You know I mean? It was tough. But, I mean, how if, do you I think, do that? I think if you want something bad enough, man, then, uh, then you, yeah, you make I mean. these sacrifices. Um, and now, here we are, if you leap along, you've, yeah. you've fought on Bellator, you've won yeah, on Bellator, yeah. you've yeah. travelled like. To the uh, Middle man, East, I've, yeah, and I've, fought. Been, I've, I've fought in uh, a lot of different countries, man, around the world now. Um, so now, big, big signing, four fight deal with Bellator. Um, they just give us a date, Bellator. Yes, please, please, give me a date. Just give us a date. Um, it's a waiting game, as usual. But it. yeah, yeah, but but now, now I'm, now I'm full time. Now I'm full time, and this, this is where I wanted to be. Do you know what I mean? So it's starting to bear some fruit. Do you so, know what I mean? So, so do you think? Um, like, because for years, I've been telling you, yeah, just, just train, just let's just yeah. try and figure out some way, yeah, to get. Again, this is another reason why I wanted to move to the gym, this yeah. gym, to get more students, create more opportunity, yeah, but and also have like a facility for people to train in. But yeah. my biggest thing is like the martial arts for me is giving me massive opportunity. Yeah. You know, do something yeah. I love uh, for a living, so. And for years I've been telling you, just, just quit your job, man. Quit your job, <laughs> yeah, man. Quit, quit it I mean, it's hard it. to do. I know. This was, I mean, you, know you didn't really do I'm, it anyway. You got made, made redundant. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're trying to pick it up now, right? Yes, so you're yeah. trying to. But just you know what? That was probably the best thing that that happened for me. Them getting rid of me made me have to make that leap. For how many times I come in here and tell you, oh yeah, well I could I could get some private clients if I had the time, but I haven't got the time because I've got my job. And if I'd got rid of the job, I could have done the clients. You know what I mean? But it was. So it, was say, it was a safety net. Just to say net. to the people out there that Charlie is available. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you want to one, you, want to you could always contact us I, at crossface.co.uk for any more uh, for more information on that. There's, <laughs> I think, I think part of being part of the team as well, and that's kept me here and, and a lot of the guys here, is the fact that you push us, not not just push us in the training and push us into the fights and push us and, and get us better, but you, you're you pushing our own opportunities. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we're a family. We're not just, oh, yeah, he's a teammate. Oh, oh I could make some money off of him from him to training or oh, I could make some money off of this or, or off his fights. You're pushing everyone to be better and you're pushing us for our opportunities. And, and I wouldn't be here without you and the team. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's no way I'd still be doing a dead-end job somewhere. Um, and it never felt like I was... You wanted, oh yeah, he wants my money. He's going to teach me because he wants my money. It's because you want me to yeah, I mean, improve and get better. Do you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. I mean, it's all about opportunity, I think. I mean, some people can't give anything back. Yeah. Like, so you've got to accept the idea that some people need to just give money as, as, yeah. an, as, a, yeah. as a form of energy because you're giving them your knowledge yeah, or whatever yeah, or you're training time. them. Yeah. I know everyone's got to eat, everyone's got to survive. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah, yeah. But... I mean, I try. I mean, if, if someone's good at drawing, I'll tell them, you know, go draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, use it, use it. Because we've got yeah. such a... And that's another reason I want to do this podcast. Yeah. Because I wanted to talk to everybody. Yeah. Because you're such a 
vast like Man, it's, spread of people here. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's like crazy. you know, like so. I want to get the stories. I want to yeah. understand, you know, why it is. I mean, maybe there isn't a formula. It's just an individual thing. Possibly, yeah. But yeah. um, you know, I just want to get yeah. people to understand who trains in martial art and, and why. why and how it may benefit you yeah, yeah, certain yeah. you know certain I think, um, aspects a of big, your life. A big thing, I know I'll probably get grief from you lot for it, but a big thing that helped me to go full time and, and is supportive family and stuff. Like my wife has been co- completely supportive. Like if if I look back and like years ago and said, oh yeah, well I'm, I'm going to tell my wife I'm not going to have a job. I'm just going to fight and train full time and with a little and stuff like that. <laughs> and she'd be like, yeah, no, no, go and do it. I'd, I'd think you're crazy but she's been super supportive she goes to work and um earn some money obviously i earn, earn money from the fights and stuff but um when you're a fighter and you're not fighting you're not earning so it's it's hard to to get well, around that and living. Hard, this is it this is it the so trouble is is now like with the instagram and all this yeah. you've got to look like you're doing great yeah right yeah. and people don't understand the struggle no 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 it's tough man and you know so you know like when even when if you look back at our stuff you know is in harrow i didn't yeah. i never put out oh you know Oh, I'm taking this fight because I need to yeah, pay yeah, rent. Yeah, exactly, yeah. They want to yeah, yeah. buy this off me because I need yeah. rent. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm need not going to broadcast bills. that, but no, no. that's the reality. This is it. This is it. So it's mm. not all, as a, no, as it's a saying, I, it's not all <laughs> it's glamour, not all man. Glamour. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah. you know, like even when yeah. you, like you say, you don't get paid if you don't get fired. Oh, oh. You know, when you, I, I remember a couple of times we yeah. made weight or yeah. cut weight and turn up to weigh-ins and the show gets cancelled and it's like, man. And then where's all that money gone? It's like, yeah. Oh, I've just yeah, done yeah. all this training. I th- yeah. Oh my God! Now am I going to do this or do that? I don't think people realise how much it actually costs to get ready for a fight as well. Obviously, with your your diet's got to be strict, so you're buying um, the organic food, the the good food and stuff like that. You're you're spending a lot on meal preps and and things like that. Um, you obviously need your your kits and everything to be top of the range, or, or at least in working order. You don't want shin guards falling to pieces, gloves falling to pieces. Um, you're paying for physios and and that sort of thing, massage and all the stuff to, to keep you ticking over and to get into fights. Because I know this is one of these saying, oh, no one ever goes into a fight 100 percent. Because if you well, are 100 percent, sort of 95, no. Yeah, but if you if you've trained hard enough, then you're going to have these little niggles. So you need to pay people to have your massage to release some of that stress, release the the, the muscles and stuff like that. Where so it, it all costs money, and then you get a fight that cancels on the day or, or you get there and they go no we're not paying you yeah. what, what do you do then you turn or around and go the fighter pull out or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, exactly. hard, then, no? then you go oh shit now I've got to go home and say to the wife yeah sorry I'm not I'm not getting paid again this month I've, I'll have to do all that again for another fight it's yeah it's not easy it's not easy but but sponsors it's well help worth it. so yeah, we're yeah, always yeah. looking sponsors, for sponsors sponsors always help hold on we, we are running a class mm. at this point yeah. so if you're going to go past the camera yeah mm. go underneath it <laughs> Let's see if he can manage that. Oh, oh yeah, well, oh, well done, yeah. well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> what a flash of green as it goes. Well by. done, yeah. yeah. No, he went right underneath that. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's see if. Here we go. Let's see let's this see next one. Yeah, that's Fred good. Can yeah. Let's see if Fred can do it. Let's see if Fred can do it. There you I like, go. I don't like a cat. I'm gonna check that later. Like see if cat. I see you, Fred. I think you could. Look, you probably look <laughs> like Tom Cruise in that. Mission Impossible. That was smooth. That was smooth. He's probably forgot something. But yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, this gym is fast paced and we I, I would be cool to do but I got a, I got to uh, like get Charlie to on on a sort of batting him down he's a busy man so it's hard no, to it's hard. have to do it while there's a class running yeah. but yeah but that's just goes to show that Man, it's, it's all go here. we're not trying to be here. glitz and glamour I would no. have d- got the makeup artist in for <laughs> For Charlie, but we've got, Sam, we got to do stuff Sam, when we can. Sam done some of my makeup on oh, yeah, Saturday, so yeah, guy. yeah, that was nice of him. Yeah. But but yeah. All right, so look, the class is finishing. So before they all start running past the camera, wanting autographs or bashing stuff, stuff yeah. and yeah, trying to, because like, <laughs> most of the time if Charlie's in here mm. this late, this is a Monday night, we just finished Muay Thai. Mm. So if if they were if, if they if he is in here like this late at night, people do want. Like sign, <laughs> sign stuff. Like maybe their pants. Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy to sign anything you want. You come along. Like you that, just come. You know what I mean, so we'll wrap it up. I think yeah. we may have missed some things, but we uh, can always get Charlie I'm, back. I'm sure I'll be back. I'm sure I'll be back. It's all so right. thanks very much, Charlie, for the for the first edition. Anytime. Of the of the insight into what we do here yeah. at the Crossface Training Centre, or Watford. Come down, join us, try it out. <laughs> Just be careful. 
just be careful of Fred. <laughs>